Hi, and welcome to the webinar on building your path back to wellness. Now, I am super excited and really want to be able to get all this information to you in under 20 minutes. So here we go. Now, if you're watching this, I am sorry because that means you're, are, you are in chronic pain. Chronic pain sucks. Apart from the fact that it hurts, it is a mental and emotional load that weighs on you. And if you're nodding your head right now, I, well, it sucks. And trying to get out of it, it, it seems like we should be able to trust the medical system to look at our muscles, look at our bones, look at our joints and help us with this pain. But here's the deal. Chronic pain is so much more than just a muscle or joint issue, okay? By the time it turns chronic, there's a lot of habits, there's a lot of thought patterns, there's a lot of environmental aspects that have come in to play a part on how you are experiencing your pain. Now, if you've heard other aspects of pain science and thought, heard maybe that they've, been to they've told you that pain is in your head, that's not the whole story. Okay. The way chronic pain can kind of evolve, you can imagine when you touch a hot stove, you touch a hot stove because of the temperature of it, the nerve that it hits goes to your brain, your brain goes back, it pulls your hand away. Okay. It's a reactionary thing. But in the meantime, that still hurts because you've damaged the skin and your brain, your nervous system, go, your brain goes, oh, you know what? That was like, it had a certain odor to it. It looked like it was bright red. It had all these different components. I'm going to put a note back here that says, we're going to try and avoid that in the future. And so what happens, your nervous system goes, oh, look at that. That's a hot coal. That was similar to the hot thing I touched before and I damaged my skin. I'm not going to go near that. That's how our nervous system is designed to protect us. Makes sense, right? Same thing that that sensor, that nerve sensor in your skin. It's for temperature. It's for chemical. It's for pressure, right? Slamming your fingers in a door. <laughs> you stay away from doors really quickly after that, okay? So that's how our nervous system's designed to protect us. Now, unfortunately, with chronic pain, it has turned into an overprotective system where you can imagine if you've gone out, play baseball, you learn how to catch and a baseball hits you in the head. That hurts. Your nervous system goes, okay, we're going to be a little bit more careful. But if you're anything like me, my hand-eye coordination <laughs> isn't the best. It's getting better actually. But when I was growing up, that wasn't the best. And if you get hit with a baseball again, your nervous system goes, oh, no, we're going to be even more careful. And then for some reason you get hit again. Now your nervous system goes, now we're going to create a fear of baseballs to keep you safer. And now you never want to go play catch, which that doesn't seem so far fetched sometimes, depending on your physical abilities. But because of that overprotection, now you're very watchful of baseballs right? And sometimes the nervous system gets so overprotective that you could see a baseball, right? Like one of those like saved baseballs that's really special that was in the World Series for a home run. And you go, oh, and your body reacts to seeing the baseball, even though it's in a case and it's not going to be thrown at you. Your body reacts to that. Same thing if you have shoulder pain, okay? And you go to watch the ballet and you see dancers with their graceful movements, but your body isn't comfortable there. That's a sensation that your nervous system has now become overprotective. Now, as much as it has become overprotective, we can reverse that. The thing is, the reverse of that is not just surgery or an injection or a prescription. It has to do with you doing the work, okay? It has to do with bringing in the biopsychosocial aspect of how we can look at pain 
in that bigger picture. So in terms of how I work with chronic pain and chronic illness, because a lot of it is just this nervous system that has created this reaction to overprotection, right? So what we do is, yes, I want to know your history. I want to know what you've done. I want to know what has worked, what has not worked. And we're going to work towards your goals. Do you want to play with your grandkids again? Do you want to get back to that activity that you love doing, but you've likely been told don't ever do that again, because that's going to be bad. I remember going to my pain doctor and for me to be told, no, you shouldn't be mountain biking. No, you're never going to run again. Now, granted, I'm not a huge runner, but the idea that I'm a very active person and for it to be taken away, all those activities that are good for me, that are healthy, that I love doing, gets me out in nature, they get taken away. It's really hard. It's not a great place to be in. So with that, I've designed a course that is six weeks long. Now, realistically, I could make this course six months long. Okay, maybe in the future, but I really want to make a course that's accessible and helpful to people who are in chronic pain. Right now, you might be at the chronic pain level where standing up is hard. The ability to walk from your chair to your kitchen is a hard thing to do. You might be at the chronic pain level where you used to hike. 20 kilometers, but now you can only hike 10 kilometers because the body just doesn't want to do it. There's a huge gamut of how chronic pain affects our lives. And I've got clients from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other, where we start working on the ability to stand and how we can stand without tension. Okay. How we can get to a hike where we can reach a certain point. How we can get to the point where we can walk to the playground with our grandkids and not just sit there and watch them, but participate. All right? Now, here's the thing. I could tell you all these great things that you could possibly be able to do. But here's how I put it together. It's six weeks. The majority of, the majority of it is online. So... What happens? You are going to get, when you sign up, your first email that has a self-assessment in it. This is five natural movement movements, okay? Because part of my background is in natural movement fitness. We get five, you're going to have five movements that you're going to watch the videos. Now, as much as I say this now, and as much as I say it in the videos, these are not challenges to see how far you can go. These are tidbits to see how your body reacts. Because you know how I mentioned the dancer, watching a dancer, and all of a sudden the body gets really uncomfortable, even though you're not the one dancing, but your body has that uncomfortable. Your nervous system is going... No, don't even watch that because just seeing somebody move like that's going to hurt. You're going to watch the videos and I want to know, can you do it? Does it cause pain in, or, or that uncomfortableness in your body just seeing that movement? Can you do? There's three levels to each movement. Can you do the first level? Can you do the second level? Can you do the third level? Where do you feel it? What does it aggravate anything? Do you have the strength? You don't even have to do them. You can just email me, watch them and go, holy crap, all of that looks like it hurts. Okay. But I do want you to reflect on each movement. All right. That should take you about 15 minutes. Ideally, I would love it if you videoed yourself doing whatever part of the movement that you could do. That would be great. <clears throat> if you can't, we're going to talk about it. So once you get that self-assessment, the next day, you're going to get an email about a little bit more of the program. You're going to get your workbook, okay, which is something that I do ask you to print off so that you can write in it. You're also going to get 
a handbook. Okay, this one has a lot of discussion in it about what we're going to go over. You don't have to read them right away. Okay, that's not what it is. This whole program is designed over six weeks to give you small steps to take each week. Now, with that next email, I'm also going to be emailing you to set up a one-on-one, -on one-hour session so that we can discuss what has worked. We can discuss what hasn't worked. We can look at your goals, what your obstacles are, where you're at. And from that one-hour session, I'm going to create you a movement rehab program. All right? Now, what I need from you, you need to be able to commit 30 minutes a day. Now, 30 minutes a day may seem like a lot, but what I what it's likely going to be is five minutes in the morning, 10 minutes around lunch hour, maybe 15 minutes in the evening, maybe five minutes in the evening. <clears throat> it's going to be broken up. All right. Now, if you want to do a full half hour, you totally can. But this program is about creating baby steps, little steps that will create good habits over a long period of time. This is work. This isn't something where you're going to watch a video and be like, oh, I'm fixed. This is something you know if you've been in chronic pain for a while, it's going to take some work. And it takes that practice of doing these movements, okay? It's not just movement, but it's also a connection into critical alignment therapy, all right? Which is one of my other backgrounds. Now, critical alignment therapy does use this black strip. You don't need the black strip. Everything we do, you can just use towels. I've got two Ikea towels. I do recommend getting the black strip though. It'll all be in the handbook and all your emails that come. Either way, all you would really need is two bath towels. Either way, you're going to get that email. Every week after that, for six weeks, you are going to get a one-hour video, okay, which will be a class that will be a discussion from the handbook, a talk about what's in the workbook, and the critical alignment exercises that we do, all right? Over six weeks, we've got the one-hour one-on-one session that you and I are going to do. We're going to be talking. Every week, we can book a 30-minute session. Now, we're going to have these 30-minute sessions to keep up. I'm going to be able to tweak your movement program. You're going to be able to ask me questions that are specific to your experience. All right? You're going to have my time to be able to ask those questions. And I'm going to be asking you to ask me questions. Some of the best clients I have, I go and work with them, and they've got three pages of questions, things they've noticed, and we just talk about that, all right? You're doing the movement. You're doing the 30 minutes a day. Now, with that, it's over six weeks, as I said. I do give you two months to do it, okay? Because I know life happens, and every so often you might miss a week. But this is a commitment. You will have two months to get this worked through, all right? Now, I'm not going to guarantee that you're going to be out of pain in six weeks, but you will notice a difference. And ideally, your family and friends are going to notice a difference as well. Not that you're doing it for them. You're doing it for you. However, it's amazing when I hear back from clients that say, oh, you know, I just, I did something and I picked this up and I walked over here and my partner was like, no, let me do that for you. And I'm like, no, I got it myself. And it's just those little things or the ability to go out and do things and enjoy your time without that mental load of exhaustion that you know that that sensation, that pain is going to destroy your day. Okay. So we work through all of these things. Now, here's the deal. Register for it. Okay. In terms of everything that you get for this, you get the six-week program, okay? The six weeks 
one hour sessions. So that's six hours that you're going to have two months, two months to work through. Okay. You get the one hour time with me to open it up, to start it out, to design your movement rehab program, to set you up. We're also going to have five 30 minute sessions with each other, one on one. Okay. We're going to set up some video calls and we're going to get this done. We're going to keep you on track. Now, as much as all of that is, you're also going to get a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. One of the things that you're going to get that really fits in well with this program is one of my online programs called Calming Your Nervous System. And they're little mini classes of critical alignment therapy that's going to be worked into your movement rehab program. So it does work mesh really well. Okay. You get the handbook, you get the workbook and you get all this organized for under $500. Okay. It is $495 and you can start as early as tomorrow. All right. This program, uh, I really want to make it six months. <laughs> But I want people to be able to see that because when you're in chronic pain, it seems like a huge mountain that you have to summit right away to get out of pain because we all want to be out of pain tomorrow. We can work on it. It is baby steps. It's one thing at a time. It's a calm, focused practice that blends into your daily life. This isn't about you having to go to the gym for one hour a day. This is starting to take those baby steps so that you can calm your nervous system. It's not as overprotective. We can start changing that neuroplasticity to go back to where it was so that we're not afraid to go watch dancers and go see that baseball game. Okay. So with that, before we finish this off, I want to take you through a little breathing work, breath work so that you can get a little bit of experience of how we do this. So set yourself up, lean back in your chair, rest your arms, close your eyes, and just focus in on your breath. Now, if you wanna do this later on today, when you do get a chance to lay down, or if you're able to lay down right now, you can do this laying down. But you're gonna breathe, and I do want you to try and breathe in and out through your nose because that does help calm the nervous system specifically. But I want you to notice that each time you exhale, that there's a softness that happens in the body. That you feel a little more grounded. And as you're paying attention to that softness, you're going to notice different sensations in your body. And you typically your nervous system goes, no, we shouldn't be doing this. I want you to just calmly, because all we've been doing is sitting. I want you to calmly notice that sensation for what it is. Don't label it as pain, but label it as pressure, burning, throbbing. Okay. Anything other than just pain, but tension, crankiness, achy, meh, something like for all to intensive purposes, write in a, th get a thesaurus, <laughs> look up some more words, find those descriptive words that you can just look at it and not judge the sensation. You just notice it right now for what it is and be like, eh, don't overanalyze it. We're not going into the what if factor. We're not going to Google this. It's just a sensation and you're looking at it, noticing your exhale, how you can find that sense of softness, that ability to feel grounded. Now we're going to switch the awareness to the inhale and that inhale is going to be in your belly. So if you can take your hand down to your belly and I want you to belly breathe. One of the things we talk about in these sessions is the concepts that we've been told for the last 30 years of you need a strong core to protect your spine. Don't ever come out of neutral. All of this stuff. 
what that does is it ends up holding tension in our body. And if you're having a tough time breathing into your belly, there's a good chance you're holding a lot of tension through your torso. Now, I'm not saying that we should just completely be jelly, but I want you to notice that tension and how you can find when you inhale that there's a little bit of space or lightness that will equate to moving with ease. Okay, so noticing that inhale, that idea that there's a bit of space, there's a bit of lightness, even if it's just around your ears, maybe it's around your fingertips, but there's just that ease that can be there. Bring it back to your exhale. Notice that sense of softness. Take a couple of breaths, focusing on the exhale. Then bring it back to your inhale. Notice a bit of ease, a bit of softness or that lightness, okay? And then opening the eyes and knowing that you can do that at any time, okay? You can pause, you can notice the sensation without overanalyzing, without catastrophizing it. You can listen to your nervous system, try and protect you, okay? But you can say, no, I'm just sitting here. Sitting here does not cause tissue damage. It is something we're safe doing, and we work on that. So that little tiny bit, we build up on that slowly over six weeks, although it does seem quick, okay? But 30 minutes a day, that's what you need to do. If you can commit to 30 minutes a day, and you're up for the next six weeks of getting into this and being able to manage your pain levels better, okay? Be able to change your pain experience, to be able to learn, okay? Because the more we learn, the better we can manage our pain. Now, that doesn't mean you have to learn everything all at once. That's why it's baby steps. And the best way to build better habits is through little tiny pieces, not just jumping there. So that's why the videos are released one week at a time. So you've got a week to get them done, to watch them. We talk one-on-one, -on -one, 30 minutes each week. We work on your schedule. My evenings can be limited, but it is possible. Daytimes do work out better. Either way, I'm here for you, okay? We will be working on this together and I am going to get a movement rehab program set up for you personally so that you can start working knowledgeably towards what you want to be, be doing, the things that you love in life that seem to have been taken away. All right. So if that sounds good, message me, check out your email because there's going to be an email in your e inbox. Okay. Check out my website. There are, I've written articles, different articles about pain. If anything connects to you, message me. We can chat. You want to chat about this first? I got a chat, chat time for you. Let's talk. Okay. But email me. Let's do this. Let's build your path back to wellness. All right. See you soon.